In this video, I'll be going over passive transport in cells. So throughout the video, I'll be talking about two main keywords, and these two keywords are diffusion and osmosis. And at the end, I'll be connecting diffusion and osmosis to cell membranes. Anyways, let's get right on with the video. So let's start off with diffusion. Diffusion is the process of spreading out from a high concentration to a low concentration. Let's take the example of food coloring and water. If you put a drop of food coloring inside of water, soon enough, the food coloring will spread throughout the whole cup of water. And this happens because of diffusion. So the way that diffusion connects to cell membranes is that, for example, if you have a cell and inside of the cell that you have way too much carbon dioxide, your cell tries to release that carbon dioxide. And the way it does that is by diffusion. It goes outside of the cell membrane and into the bloodstream. And another example could be if you don't have enough oxygen inside of your cell. What your cell will do is that it will take them some oxygen from the bloodstream and bring it in. And it always tries to equal it out. Now, now we'll be going over our second word. Our second word is osmosis. And osmosis is the process of diffusion of water through a thermal membrane. So basically water moves in a region where there's a high concentration to a low concentration. of a carrot and a cup of water. Let's say that for example the carrot wasn't crisp. So what you could do is that you could leave the carrot in a cup of water for about two hours and after two hours you would see that the carrot be would become crisp again. And this happens because of osmosis. The way it works is that the water went from a high concentration which is the bottom of the carrot all the way to the top which is the low concentration and it's all equaled out. So in conclusion, osmosis is the process of diffusion of water through a permeable membrane. And water moves from a region where there's a high concentration to a low concentration. Now let's start on the cell membrane. A cell membrane can either be permeable or impermeable. If a cell membrane's permeable, that means it can let some materials in and out. But if it's impermeable, that means it won't be able to let the materials in. Let's take the example of oxygen. So your cell always needs oxygen, and the way it gets oxygen is from the bloodstream. So if your cell is able to bring in the oxygen from your bloodstream, then it's called permeable. And if it cannot bring the oxygen from the bloodstream, that means it's impermeable. So cell membranes can either be permeable or impermeable. So in conclusion for the video, we talked about two words, and those two words were diffusion and osmosis. So diffusion is the process of spreading out from a high concentration to a low concentration, and osmosis is the process of diffusion of water through a permeable membrane. And we also talked about the cell membrane, and the cell membrane can let materials in and out. So if this video ended up helping you out, don't mind to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.